Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making oven baked barbecue ribs. Absolutely amazing. Let's start with our ribs. <clears throat> we're going to um, make sure we take that extra skin off in the back because we don't want it to be rubbery. So first we just got to use our knife and try to find it, if you understand what I'm saying. Find it. And once you find it, you just nicely it was kind of difficult right here but then I finally got the drift <laughs> if you know what I mean but yeah you just have to remove all of that all of that skin and clean it up basically you're cleaning up the ribs and it's barb it's pork ribs I should say gonna put together the, our rub for this bad boy we have all the seasons and spices right here that's needed sugar uh, garlic cunnim salt you know everything that's needed and now you, you're just gonna mix it up mix it nice together put everything all <clears throat> mix again great don't worry about my voice guys I'm kind of a little bit sick Right here, I'm gonna just add some mustard because to me, mustard gives it more flavor. It's a spicy brown mustard that I'm using, and we're just gonna mix that together. Mix that together, get it nice and mix together. Sometimes you could put more, but right here, my my season was a little bit thick, but I kept mixing and mixing together. Then I started to go and use my fingers. See how nice and thick my rub is? Now we're just gonna put everything on top of our rib. As you can see, it's a little bit too, too thick. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna just add me some extra mustard on it just to loosen that rub up. And remember to check out my blog guys, blkbryxt at wordpress.com for more recipes. You just flip it and you rub the season all over it. Now we're going to line our pan with foil paper just so it won't stick to the pan. So we have two sheets of um, foil paper perfectly lined then we're going to place this bad boy right in this spot <music> yummy then we're just going to add some olive oil to the um to the rib just evenly Pour some over it, nicely rub it, feels tender. Some people would um marinate their ribs for a couple hours, but I just season mine and bake it as soon as I finish seasoning. So I'm just distributing the oil over the rib. I like doing this part because it it's just so tendering you know playing with the root right here and then we're just gonna cover our ribs with two even four papers so we could steam the rib well basically we're baking it but to keep all the juices in where we would cover the rib with the foil paper Now 
now our rib been cooking for about 10 minutes and this is what it looks like it's been cooking Now we're gonna add our sweet honey barbecue sauce. This one's from Kraft. You could get it in your local supermarket. I don't have a brush to brush sauce or a sauce brush, so I use this spoon. And I just rub it evenly, distributing the sauce. This, this sauce was really, really good. I like this one. Because normally I would get the regular barbecue sauce, but this one was really, really good. So I distributed that evenly. It looks so amazing, like brushing it on, it felt so good, really, really felt good, and it looks nice, it smells really sweet. Now we're going to flip the ribs to make sure we get some sauce on the other side as well. I put a lot of sauce on here, like, I love barbecue sauce on my ribs. Especially me trying this new one and it was really really tasty. I wanted as much as I could get on my ribs. Now we're just gonna flip back the rib on the other side so we could cover it and let it simmer for the next hour that it has left to bake. already look how wonderful these boobs look like they are so beautiful and they smell even better now I'm just cutting the rib into sections joint by joint bone by bone so each rib has its own bone <laughs> Now we're gonna plate it, like put it each bone, each rib, <laughs> each rib on the plate. You know, it looks so good. Like guys, when you try this, you are gonna really, really love it. It's pretty easy, pretty fast, and it tastes amazing. Then we're just gonna add a little parsley. Yep. Parsley just gives everything nice colors and, you know, just make it look even more presentable. Hardly taste it though, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also, visit my blog. The link for my blog will be down in the description bar. Thank you.